Octavia. Sources tell News 2 that Alec Murdoch will be in court once again today for that sentencing hearing. He's going to look different. He will have a prison jumpsuit and shackles on as he awaits to hear how long he'll be in prison for. I'm going to take you back to last night where the prosecution, defense and Murdoch family made their way back into the courtroom. Members of the local and national media and people across the country waiting to hear the verdict as well. That moment came around 710 last night as we heard the verdict read out by the clerk of court. After a year of investigation and nearly six weeks of this murder trial, Alec Murdoch learned his fate. He is guilty, even as a defense asked for a mistrial. We would just renew our previously um, uh, argued motions for a directed verdict, and at this on, on the grounds, <clears throat> on those grounds, we would make a motion for a mistrial and to set aside the verdict. The court um, found that the evidence was sufficient for the jury to find the defendant guilty. The jury has now considered the evidence um, for a significant period of time. And um, the evidence of guilt is overwhelming, and uh, I deny the motion. For the first time last night, Alec Murdoch walked out of court without his laser covering his handcuffs. Officially, the once prominent low country lawyer who belonged to a dynasty of solicitors from South Carolina's 14th Circuit and the legal system is a self-admitted financial manipulator and now a convicted murderer. Each murder sentence carries a 30 years to lifetime in prison mid-sentence. We'll learn what his sentence will exactly be today at 930. Live in Walterboro, Forrest Tucker, count on two.